Hey guys, Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. Well, here we are, Saturday morning. What are we doing? Well, I really wanted to be working on fence, but uh, it's been so wet this week, the uh, welder is behind, so no welding today. And since we don't have corner posts welded, we can't string bob wire. So the fence project is on hold. So we are in the middle of the 40 acres that we recently purchased, and uh, we're coming in here and uh, starting to clean it up and uh, there was a fence row here that we did not need and instead of repairing the fence we just decided to open the pasture up make one big pasture and uh, so we're taking out these ugly cedar trees because if you don't they're kind of like wild hogs they'll just continue to take over and take over and they get so big uh, now's the time to get them the ground is soft so uh, i got dale here my helper and uh, new holland 5060 and what are we doing? Well, you can see, I came through here about a year ago and kind of pushed these trees over, but I didn't have a lot of time to actually finish the job. So we're coming back today and uh, digging them out and uh, pushing them on. So very similar to the fence prep work we were doing, but this time we're just trying to uh, land clearing, I guess is what you would call this. Just a beautiful day in North Texas, going up to a high of 70, started down at 40, just beautiful. Glory be to God, man. What a great, great day, but that's what we're doing. Just doing a little fence work, not fence work, land clearing, more to follow. All right, guys, well, we are making major progress in getting those cedar trees out of this old fence road. You can see the New Holland 5060, we're doing our first pass on the box blade after he's pushed and got all the roots out and uh, just going really kind of slow. He's got the fingers all the way down, getting a good bite of dirt, and he'll take it and uh, make three or four passes, smooth it all out. The question is, should we leave those four or five cedars right in the middle of this pasture or go ahead and take them out? I'm torn. Mm, what to do? Well, here's the next spot. You can see way over there on the horizon, what was left so we took that little section out now we're on this section which actually started up there and ran all the way down to here and we are taking that out so uh new holland 5060 is working well dale uh master tractor driver just taking what it'll give them the good news is man the ground is soft it's pretty easy to dig if we just had some traction we could really just shove these guys right out of the way but uh we're working at it. What a glorious, beautiful day in North Texas. Okay, well, it's Saturday, and it's now about 1.30, and we are still making progress. So uh, you can see the New Holland 5060 attacking cedar trees. But this is how you remove cedar trees. So all the way from that fence line, all the way up to here, we have taken out this morning we took out all of these you can see the pile there and uh let's see that's where we started the day way back over there with that little group of cedars and then worked our way back down so uh very productive day it's nice to be off of the fence work for a weekend and uh actually be focusing on uh, some cedars here trying to clear do some land clearing so excited about that all right guys more to follow Here's a good example of what he's done. So he's digging at the base of this uh, tree. He's coming in here and uh, basically he, he makes one pass pretty shallow to get some of the surface roots. Then he comes back and he takes a pretty good chunk down 
maybe a foot and a half, two foot deep on one side. Then he'll back up, move over just a little bit, hit it again. Then he'll uh, actually get up there and start to lean on it and uh, get the tree to start to shift. Then he'll, normally, he'll go to the other side, depending on what happens. Let's see, here's a good example. Look at this, man. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear all the popping of that trunk and everything, but uh, those roots start to snap and then he'll come back, move over a couple of feet, and he'll start digging again, same process. First thing he'll do though is come in here and clear some uh, limbs out so he can actually see what he's doing. You can see he'll use the bucket just to shred them down, pull them back out of the way. That allows him to get in there a little bit closer and uh, let's see what happens here. So coming in again, he's moved over about a foot since the last one. Very, very steep bite. But you notice the thing that uh, you never see any high RPMs. He's not dogging it. He's just slowly working. He's in granny gear, just taking what uh, Mother Nature gives him. So uh, the soil is in pretty good working conditions today. And uh, just the right amount of moisture. You can see now he's gonna swing over and he's gonna get it from a totally different side. The main thing when you're using a tractor for this kind of work is it's not a bulldozer. And you have to understand and appreciate that it's not a bulldozer and you just have to work with what you have. And uh, so you can see he's gonna come in here and probably knock some limbs off. I guess that's the uh, plan of attack right here. Yep, break the limbs down so he can get in there a little bit closer. And uh, there you go, Big Blue is uh, attacking the trees, man. So it's a slow process. It takes probably, I don't know, let's just say 15 to 20 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes per tree, and look at that. Boom, just that simple, guys. That's how you remove a cedar tree with a tractor. So, cedar tree removal, Telephone Texas. Okay, hey guys, it's the end of the day. Well, we have done a ton of work today, clearing out those fence rows. We are uh, coming down, I thought I would do a final drive-by on the uh, fence project that we've been working on for the past few weeks. Coming up here on the nice entrance. How that looks. Oh, so happy about all that. And then we're coming on up here. And uh, you can kind of see the final grade that we put on here. Uh, that's what we're doing right now. Just some final dress up touches on the final grade. Trying to make things look a little bit more presentable. And uh, been a good Saturday. Man, the weather's been great. Man, this fence project just has been going on and on and on. And, uh, but we got a little break today, so uh, we got a chance to work on clearing some land and uh, see what we do. But uh, that's what the deal is. We are doing final box blade work today. Here comes Dale. Let's see what Dale is up to. Dale is one of the guys that helps me here. Since I'm uh, part-time, I'm not here during the week. He checks on the cattle and uh, helps out. Big asset to the company, for sure. So, uh, anyway, 